Assalamu alaikum my dear students I hope to be fine Today we are going to talk about some cases in bond valuation The basic bond valuation model is the discounted cash flow model in which bond value is the present value of all expected periodic interest payments the investors uh, is promised to receive over the bond maturity plus present value of the of his value uh, the investor should uh, receive at maturity date to find the present value of all expected periodic interest coupon uh, interest or coupon payments and the face value we have to use a discount rate we will use the rate of return required by the investor as discount rate so R is the required rate or discount rate in the present value equation but since interest payments take the form of a series of equal and periodic cash flows we can use present value interest factor for anything to find their present values and rewrite the equi these equations in this form to be bond value equals the periodic interest uh, payments times present value interest factor for any uh, for annuity plus present value of face value can be obtained by dividing face value as a future value by 1 plus the required rate of return power n we will receive face value at maturity date so we will uh, receive this value one time let me introduce the first case in which we want to find bond value at time frequency higher than annual so given a high fre time frequency m refers to number of time intervals per year so we have to adjust three components the first one the coupon or the interest rate assumed to received by uh, the issuing company by number of time intervals per year and uh, we have to adjust the required rate of return by the number of time intervals per year and adjust the number of uh, periods over which the bondholder will receive these promised coupon payments uh, by multiplying number of years by number of time intervals per year so for example the first time frequency is semi-annual coupon payments if the, uh, this bond uh, provide, uh, provides uh, uh, its owner semi-annual coupon payments so the investors or bond holders will receive two times coupon payments per year because the semi-annual time intervals per years is two which means the bond holder will receive coupon payments every six months so how many time intervals per year for semi-annual coupon payments is two so m equals two and uh, consequently by uh, we will divide coupon uh, the annual coupon rate or the annual interest rate by 2 and divide the discount rate to find the present value or the bond value uh, we will di uh, divide the uh, required rate or the discount rate by 2 and multiplying number of years by 2 in case of quarterly uh, coupon payments number of quarters per year is 4 so we will divide the annual interest rate by 4 the discount rate by 4 and the multiply number of years by 4 in case of monthly coupon payments number of months in the per year is 12 so we will divide coupon rate by 12 and we will divide rate further or discount rate by 12 and the multiply number of years by 12 let me show an exercise about bond valuation using semi-annual frequency. 
suppose we have pound of 1000 Egyptian pounds as a face value provides 9% uh, as interest rate over the next 15 years investors in the market requires 8% as a rate of return or an opportunity cost to invest in this bond find bond value as we said before in case of time and uh, time of frequency uh, higher than uh, annual time of frequency we have to adjust the three main components used in the equation so in the first case we have semi annual coupon payments in which number of periods or num number of time intervals per year is two which means bondholder will receive coupon payments not annually or at the end of each year he or she will receive the coupon payments every six months so he will receive two times per year so we will adjust the annual interest rate from uh, to be semi-annual interest rate by dividing nine by uh, dividing by two so 9 over 2 equal 4.5 percent so investors will receive coupon payments calculated at coupon interest rate of 4.5 percent number of periods will be adjusted uh, the investor will receive every six months over the next 15 years so he will receive how many times he or she will receive 30 times he will receive over the next 30 periods because in each year he will receive two times and he will receive over the next 15 years so he will receive 30 periods or 30 semi-annual periods 36 months the discount rate used to find the bond value so should be adjusted to be semi-annual discount rate by dividing 8 which is annual uh, rate of return divided by 2 equal uh, equals 4 percent now we can apply the equation of uh, bond value in which we we will multiply the periodic interest payment or coupon payments times present value interest factor for entity why we will use this factor because this interest pay, uh, uh, or coupon payments is per equal amount and periodically and it will be received or promised to be received over a specific number of years so we can apply the present value of annuity equation but face value will be received at the end or at the maturity date of this bond which means after 30 periods and we will receive only one time after 30 periods so we will apply the simple present value equation by dividing future value or face value by one plus the semi-annual discount rate power n but the first calculations we will uh, do is how to find interest payments periodical interest payments in our case semi-annual coupon payments semi-annual coupon or semi-annual interest payments can be calculated by multiplying the face value by the new or the uh, semi-annual interest rate semi-annual interest or semi-annual coupon rate is 4.5 percent so when we multiply 1000 times 0.045 we will get 45 egyptian pounds which means bondholder will receive 45 pounds every six months over the next uh, 30 periods okay present value interest factor for entity can be obtained by applying this equation 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus discount rate semi-annual discount rate we adjusted the annual interest rate of 8% to be 4% 1 plus 1 
so we will use the semi-annual discount rate of 4% we will not use 4.5% because 4.5 is coupon rate it shouldn't be used in uh, finding present value interest factor for any AT. so we will use the semi-annual discount rate so we will get 17.29 1000 will be received after 30 periods so its uh, present value will be 308 Egyptian pounds in other words 300 uh, uh, the, uh, 308 Egyptian pounds is the present value of 1000 will be received after 30 periods okay so we will add the 308 uh, Egyptian pounds plus present value of all coupon payments present value of all coupon payments promising to be uh, to uh, received over uh, the 30 periods by multiplying 45 times present value interest factor of 17.29 to get 778 uh, Egyptian pounds so the present value of all coupon payments of all 30 coupon payments promised to be received over the next periods will worth today 778 Egyptian pounds and the 1000 should be received after 30 periods it worth today 308 Egyptian pounds so pound value should be 1086 Egyptian pounds today so pound value today should be 1086 Egyptian pounds uh, uh, this pond is uh, said to uh, to sell at premium. Why? Because pond value is greater than face value of one thousand. In case of pond value greater than to be greater than face value, this pond is said to sell at premium. In exercise two, we try to find the bond value using quarterly time frequency our exercise our uh, bond value has a face value of 1000 Egyptian pounds and provides coupon rate of 9% uh, and the investors in the market requires requires 8% uh, as a rate of return for the next 15 years which is the time uh, years to maturity for this bond find bond value as we said before we have to adjust the three components of the three inputs coupon rate uh, rate of return or discount rate and the number of years T to take in consideration that coupon payments will be received uh, or, uh, every three months or quarterly so how many quarters per year is four uh, so we will adjust coupon rate by dividing this annual rate of nine percent by four so nine uh, over four will be uh, two point twenty five percent and the uh, required rate of return by investors will be adjusted uh, to uh, be a quarterly uh, rate of return uh, by dividing 8 uh, over 4 to get 2% number of uh, years will be adjusted to be a number of periods uh, so number of periods will be 60 periods uh, because uh, in, uh, you will receive the coupon payments every 3 months over the next 15 years which means you will receive this coupon 60 times bond value can be obtained by applying the uh, discounted cash flow equation uh, in which we will multiply the interest payments times present value interest factor for entity to get present value of all coupon payments uh, promised to be uh, received 
over the next 15 years uh, but this coupon payments will be received uh, at the end of each three months and uh, we will uh, add this present value uh, to be the present value of face value of 1000 which will uh, which will be achieved or will be received after 60 periods first input is interest payment interest payment can be achieved by multiplying face value times the quarter a quarterly uh, coupon rate of 2.25 so 1000 times 2.25 percent we will get 22.5 Egyptian pounds which means uh, you will receive 22.5 Egyptian pounds every three months present value interest factor for annuity can be obtained by these equations in which we will use the quarterly uh, discount rate or quarter, quarterly rate for return of 2% uh, over the uh, over 60 uh, periods to get 34.76 as a present value interest factor for annuity present value of face value can be obtained uh, if we divide 1000 by 1 plus the quarterly discount rate of 2% power number of periods of 60 to get 300 for approximately 305 Egyptian pounds which means the 1000 that is uh, 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 will be uh, received after 60 periods is uh, worth today 305 Egyptian pounds so bond value is the summations of present value of coupon payments plus present value of face value so present value of, of all coupon payments promised to be received ev uh, every three months over the next 15 years will worth uh, today 782 Egyptian pounds and the present value of 1000 uh, that is uh, that will be uh, received after 60 periods is worth today 305 Egyptian pounds so bond value should be 1086 uh, Egyptian pounds and uh, you know that this bond value is greater than the face value of 1000 which means this bond is said to sell at premium because because this bond value is greater than face value which implies uh, there is an increase in demand for this bond which result in uh, uh, higher price or higher uh, bond value than its face value in the second case we want to understand why bond value change over time to do so recall the equation of bond value we know that its main inputs are usually fixed namely the interest payment and the face value are fixed but the required return is the only input which may increase or decrease over time. Actually, the required rate of return of investors can increase or decrease for two reasons firms, riskness, and economic conditions. In the last exercise, we provided investors require a rate of return of 8% but the bond provides coupon rate of 9%. In this case, the required rate of return by investors less than the coupon rate provided by the bond, which, imply, which implies investors' demand for this bond is very high. So, bond value or bond price should be greater than the face value of this bond bond value is 1086 Egyptian pounds so bond value 
should be greater than the face value of 1000 and uh, this bond is said to sell at premium at premium than face value why because investors in the market requires rate of return less than the interest rate or the coupon rate provided by the bond which implies there is increase in demand on this bond which results in greater bond value than the face value of the bond and uh, this results in premium bond uh, it results in the bond sold uh, is selling at premium and vice versa if the required rate of return is greater than the coupon rate of the bond bond value should be less than the face value and this bond is said to sell at discount but if the required rate of return is equals the coupon rate of 9% bond value should be equals face value of 1000 and this bond is said to sell at bar exercise 3 will show the impact of changing rate of return on bond value suppose a mobile corporation has outstanding $1000 bar value bond with an 8% coupon interest rate the bond has 12 years remaining to its maturity date so face value is 1000 coupon rate is 8% and number of years or maturity is 12 years if interest is paid annually find the value of the bond when the required return is 7% is the first scenario, 8% second scenario, and 10% as a third scenario. So the given data will be fees, va fees value of $1,000 and coupon rate of 8%, number of years 12 years. The first uh, component we will uh, estimate is coupon payments or the interest payments by multiplying coupon rate by the fees value coupon rate is 8% and the fees value is $1000 so the investor or bondholder should receive $80 uh, dollars and, uh, at the end of each year over the next 12 years the required is to estimate bond value if the required rate of return is 7%, which is less than the coupon rate actually paid by the bond. So we expect to receive, or we expect to uh, get bond value uh, greater than the phase value. We will apply the uh, equations of bond valuation. Uh, by which we will multiply the coupon payments of $80 by the present value interest factor for annuity using the required rate of return of 7% plus the present value of face value which is, well, which is uh, received at the end of maturity uh, of 12 years bond value will be $1,079 dollars so in the case of uh, a rate of return less than the coupon rate bond price will be or bond value will be greater than face value of 1000 this bond is uh, said to sell at premium in the case of a uh, rate of return of 8% which is equals the coupon rate bond value should be 1000 so if the rate of return required by investors equals the coupon rate typically paid by the bond bond price will be equals the face value and this bond is said to sell at bar 
if rate of return equals 10%, which is greater than the coupon rate of 8%, bond value can be obtained by multiplying the coupon payments, annual coupon payments of $80 by the factors present value factor for NAT using this rate plus present value of face value which is obtained or received at the end of uh, 12 years to get the bond value worth today $863 which is less than the face value of 1000 why because the required rate of return by investors is greater than the coupon rate typically paid by the bond so bond price will be less than the face value in short in the case of rate of return is greater than the coupon rate bond value should be less than the face value of 1000 and this bond is said to sell at a premium if rate of return required by bondholder equals the coupon rate received by the uh, 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 the coupon rate paid by the bond this uh, the bond value will be equals the face value of 1000 and this bond is said to sell at bar if, if rate of return required by bondholder is greater than the coupon rate paid by the bond the bond value will be less than the face value and this bond is said to sell at discount so we can summarize the relationship between the required return and the bond value as shown in this table required return coupon rate bond value face value and status required return of seven percent and the coupon rate is fixed at eight percent so bond value which is estimated using this rate will be greater than the face value which is a fixed component in our exercise so this bond is called uh, said to sell at premium because bond value is greater than face value in case of uh, required rate of return 8% which equals the coupon rate bond value should be uh, 1000 which equals the face value and this bond is said to sell at par because bond value equals face value if the if required return by investors is greater than the coupon rate of the bond bond value should be less than the face value and this bond is said to sell at discount The third case is to estimate yield to maturity. Suppose you uh, uh, suppose an investor wants to buy a bond at a market price, which is determined by demand and supply in the marketplace, and intend to hold this bond till maturity, with assumptions that the issuing company will pay all promised coupon or interest payments and repay the face value at maturity date so the annual rate of return will be achieved by the, this investor is called yield to maturity so yield means rate of return to maturity if you buy this bond today at a market price and held till maturity which means you actually received or with assumptions you will receive uh, all periodic interest payments in time and you will receive the face value at maturity date so this means you will achieve rate of return or annual uh, rate of return call it yield to maturity uh, if we want to uh, get or to calculate yield to maturity given value of market price and the, the interest payments and the face value you can find uh, this yield to maturity using financial calculators but we have uh, uh, an equations 
uh, by which we can get approximate yield to maturity this equations uh, in which we will add the coupon payments or the interest payments plus the uh, difference between face value and the market price of the bond divided by years to maturity and this term is divided by average of face value and the market price exercise 4 about how to calculate yield to maturity suppose Orascon construction corporations bonds currently sells for 1150 so this is market price have an 11% coupon interest rate and 1000 bar value or face value pay interest annually and have 18 years to maturity calculate the bonds yield to maturity so The first component is to find the coupon payments or the interest payments by multiplying coupon rate times face value. Coupon rate is 11% and the face value is 1000. So the coupon payments or the interest payments will be 110. So if you buy this bond today at 1150, you will receive 110 at the end of each year for the next how many years 18 years the required is to estimate yield to maturity so the standard form uh, of the equations is to uh, equate the bond price bond market price by the present value of uh, the periodical interest payments of 110 and the uh, present value of the face value of 1000 will be received after 18 years uh, but we will apply the uh, approximate equations of yield to maturity in which we will add the coupon payments or the interest payments of 110 plus the difference between face value of 1000 minus market price uh, of 1150 divided by how many years left to maturity is 18 years and it divides this term by the average uh, uh, of face value of 1000 and the bond price of uh, 1150 so we will get 9.46 percent 9. 46% is the yield to maturity. This means if you buy this bond today at 1150 and the issuing company uh, paid all promised uh, coupon payments and the face and the repeat the face value at maturity date, this means you actually re, uh, achieved or realized rate of return of 9.46%.